Uh, what's up, guys? It's uh, Worlds. Uh, I don't even know. It's JJ. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're just ranking Haunted Mountain albums. Nothing too serious. Uh, just uh, just a quick video idea that I could get out fast, and also it would probably start an argument in the comment section because Haunted Mountain fans are pretentious as shit. Uh, I'm gonna try and go in order. I don't want to start over here and th there's there's uh there's two or there's three behind my my uh face cam i just didn't want to have my face cam too small so obviously you got grave house first one i'm gonna put it at like b i'm not a big fan of a lot of the songs on grave house i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all it's just not it's good like there's a lot of good songs it's where a lot of the classics are i guess but i mean a lot of them are just not not for me i don't really like a lot of the older ones and then I think it was Rainbow Bridge 1 that came next. I'm going to put Rainbow Bridge 1A. Uh, great album. Great album. Uh, I don't really like, to be honest, I don't like the Mothman song. That one's so ass. It's so bad. But then the, the, the rest of the songs on the album are pretty good. I'm not big on Shotgun, though. I don't really like Shotgun that much. Uh, the rest of them are pretty good, though. Uh, recently clicks for me. Unironically, I like I like God's Wisdom verse on, verse on, to, uh, on Toolbox. Uh, a lot of people don't like it. I do. Then I think it was RB2, and then it was 100 Acre Wrist. But RB2, I'm, it, compared to these two, I'm going to put it C. It has a lot of songs on there I don't like. I don't like Tooth Taker. I don't like it on RB2, and I don't like it on RB3. I don't know what it is. I'm just not a big Rainbow Bridge 2 guy. I don't like what really like what he was doing with his voice for a lot of those songs. But it's not bad. It has good songs. We Don't Dial 911. Uh, the one on RB2 is probably like my top three of my favorite songs. I like Hogs. I like... The, the intro is not bad. Uh, my cutter's all right. I mean, it's, it's whatever. Funeral's okay. And then it was 100 Acre Wrist. I'm putting 100 Acre, Acre Wrist above Grave House just because, I'm going to be honest, I don't even listen to that many songs from 100 Acre Wrist. But just because of, like, how good the good songs on there are, I got I to gotta put it high. Like, just because of... Just because of shit like Heffalumps, Louisville Slugger, uh, Johnny Cutter, Nazgul, Sigil, just because of like songs like that, it has to be up there for me just because those ones are so good. It, 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 other ones are all right, but nothing too crazy. And then uh, what came next? Was it Warboy? Oh, or did Warboy come out? I don't know. Warboy's behind here. It's over here. Uh, Warboy, I'll put like C tier. The only reason it's C tier is just because like there's not enough songs on it for me to like definitively put it high. Because I don't really like Forever Box, and I don't like Red Bull Addict, and Skulls is hit or miss. So, I mean, there's a lot of songs on it I'm not, I don't really like that much, but, you know, it's whatever. Then it was RB3. RB3 is S tier. I'm sorry. It, it It's just that good. Like, I don't care. I love RB3. Uh, that I, I don't know why I'm saying I'm sorry. That's like everyone's dick riding album. That's the album everyone dick rides. That in Grave House. But it's really good. I really do like it. Uh, it's one of my favorites, personally. Like, it ha well, it has a lot of my favorite songs on it. Going Mortem is probably my favorite uh, cemetery song, just in general. Really good. Fuck with it a lot. Uh, then there was Screaming Force. I'm putting Screaming Force S as well, just because, like, I don't think there's a single miss on that album. I, I love the whole album. I love the sound he was going for with it. The, the songs I didn't like on the first listen recently clicked for me. And I'm sorry, man. That's just all. It's all just really good. And then what was next? Was it was it Turnabout? What was next? I mean, either way, I'm just putting Cutter Lane S tier. Cutter Lane is my favorite Haunted Mount project that has my favorite Haunted Mount songs on it. There's one miss, and that's Graveyard Party. That song stinks, but the rest of the album is amazing. Um, yeah, not much else to say outside of that. And then I'm pretty sure Burning Barn. I'm putting Burning Bar B. I really don't like a lot of Buckshot songs on there. His good songs on there are great. Like, Hollow Ground is amazing. Uh, Over the Hills is good. Haunted Hayride's obviously good. Uh, Sawmill's all right. And then, what else is there? Long Walk Home. If I Had a Gun, those ones are good, too. Then there was Hackle's album. I'll put Hackle's album, like, C. I wasn't really that big on uh, the gun on Gunsmith, the mixtape. I wasn't really big on that one. It had some good songs on it. Like, One of Maniacs is great. Uh, nothing is great. Bakelite's good. It's just, uh, it's just near the end of it, it kind of got a little nah for me. Then there was Butcher House. I'm putting Butcher House. I'll put Butcher ba Butcher House S tier. Uh, it's great. It really is great. I don't care what anyone says. It's 
up there. Honestly, if I had to like link, have had to like put these in like order, this is probably the order I put them in. Um, like Butcher House, I don't think there's a single miss on it, except Little Lamb. Sometimes Little Lamb's kind of, eh, but you know, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's good. It's good. I like it a lot. Then there was Lord of E from Lord of E from probably like A tier. And the main reason I got Lord of E from A tier is just because, uh, well, you know, I would put an S tier, but I feel like then I would just have too many S tiers. So it's just, it's just going to be A tier. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of good songs on it. And by a lot of, I mean, I like every song on it, except like some of them get a little bit repetitive. Like bow, bow, bow gets a little repetitive, run from turns a little, eh, and then kiss my hands is good in the moment, but sometimes it's a little iffy. King of the Graveyard, that's going to be the first, that's going to be, that's honestly the only D tier, like, Haunted Mount project, and the only reason I put it there is just because I like three songs on it, and I was like, what, like five or six, but the other ones on there just aren't my favorite, I like 3AM Gang, I like I Don't Care About Sleep Anymore, I like King of the Graveyard, I like those three songs, and then outside of that, I don't like, I don't like House of the Dead, I don't like Cutter in, my, Cutter in the Club, and I can't remember if there's another one on there, I don't know, I listened to it that one time, and then I didn't listen to it anymore. Uh, Haunted Nation. I'm putting Haunted Nation like B tier. Uh, main reason that honestly, the main reason it's B tier is just because there's there. I don't think there's a miss on the album. I think they're all good songs. It's just uh, the lyrics do get a little repetitive. I will admit that, even though in the other video, like like I don't know what people are expecting. Like I wasn't expecting good lyrics going into it. It's Hackle. He's 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 even said before that he's not known for his lyrics. So it's not like I'm dogging on him for that. But you know, they do get a little bit repetitive. And there's there are some goofy ass lyrics on there. She, what does he what does he say on no reason? She's eating on my semen. Like, come on, man. I don't know. You can do the sex bars good, but when you start saying the word semen, it don't uh it don't get too good. Like when Denzel Curry on fucking Zenith said, uh tell him tell him licking semen on your couch and then I'm out. Like why that word should not be used in any form on a song I, I why is that being used but uh you know it has a has, honestly i don't care what anyone says get some is top tier i saw a dude in a reddit comment section be like ah, it's objectively the worst song one it's not because that makes no sense and two how the fuck do you listen to music objectively i don't know how that works do you like listen to a song you're like oh my god i think this sounds like shit but musically it's great you know the instrument the instrumental is an amazing instrumental and you know he's rapping with a good flow how the fuck do you listen to music objectively if you like you only can listen to music subjectively because even if you list try to listen to it objectively it's going to end up being subjective halfway through because you might like instrumentation even if it's not objectively the best makes no sense uh all music is subjective this is my personal opinion uh i know a lot of people fucking hate turnabout couldn't tell you why i think he's He's my favorite member personally, uh, but you know it's uh, it's really it's, it's 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 there, it's there. Shout out Turnabout, shout out Cemetery, shout out Hackle, shout out Buckshot. Hopefully we get a new Buckshot album soon. I would love to hear more from him. Uh, the last verse we got from Buckshot was what "Feel Like God" on Lord of E from, and he he did good on that. Uh, shout out him for going to rehab. Uh, hope he's I hope he's doing well. Hope they're all doing well. All right, I'm gonna stop stalling out the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching so much. If you guys agree or disagree, leave it down in the comments. Uh, I like to hear what you guys think and uh, what you guys would change, where you guys would put stuff. I imagine the biggest, the biggest ones are just gonna be putting these here and putting Grave House B and putting Hundred Acre Wrist A because motherfuckers just, oh my god, they dick ride the old music. Holy shit, do they dick ride the old music? If it was, if it was made 2020 and before. Holy shit, they are on that shit. They are dick riding that shit till it is gone. And Rainbow Bridge 3 gets dick wrote a lot too, but because it's more of the experimental side of music, it's like more, like, they judge it more, I guess. It don't really matter. Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, love y'all. Thank you guys for, thank you guys for, I think I'm at like 780 subscribers now, which is great. Hope I can reach 1,000 by the end of the year. That's the main goal. Got to keep uploading. Uh, but again, sorry for drawing it out even more. I uh, love you guys. Bye.